Hey guys, welcome to my first video tutorial. This one is going to be it's going to be a really basic tutorial on basically using the pen tool and using this little thing down here called lock transparent layers or lock transparent pixels, should I say? Sorry, that's me getting confused. Uh, so the pen tool is up here uh, on the left-hand side. You can just press P on your keyboard to select this. And why you would want to use this is basically for really smooth, perfect lines. Um, you, just lines that you can't get just by using the brush tool. So in this example, I have some some rough outlines in the background. I'm going to show you how I use the pen tool to create this part of the blade here and make it a really smooth line. So let's start off by creating a new layer, layer 27. Right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this, just so that I get it a little bit more accurate. So you would click wherever you want to start and click again at the next point but do not let go, if you let go you've got a straight line and you can carry on like that but this is why the pen tool is great because you can click and keep hold and then adjust it to how you want I'm gonna redo that one because that wasn't particularly great but hopefully you can see how you can use this tool now this is important. Once you've got to this point, hold down the Alt key and select this edge and drag it right into the midpoint. This just makes sure you don't mess up your next line. Again, same again. Let's create the blade like that. I'm going to move this slightly actually. You can hold down the Control key and select that point and move it. Let's have it there. Again, hold in Alt, drag this one down. I'm going to turn my layer off for this just so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. In fact, no. Not a great idea, sorry. Click on your next point, and I'm going to try and roughly match the last one. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. But hopefully you can still see its use anyway. Right, again, make sure you hold down Alt, select, drag it in, click on the first one to sort of join the lines back up. Again, you can still hold down and adjust this if you like. From here, while still on the pen tool, right click and click Make Selection this menu will come up, I keep it all the same, I haven't played around with these yet but just new selection, ok, then you've got your selection tool now I'm going to switch to the brush layer to the brush tool even let's just pick a decent brush this doesn't really matter what what colour you use because you can change this at any point so when you, you've got a selection up like this you can only paint within that selection once you've actually painted it all you can hold down Control and D on your keyboard, which is basically to deselect something, unselect something. Now on this layer here, in this case layer 27, where you've got this, well, the grey of the sword, click this button here, which is, as it shows up there, the Lock Transparent Pixels button. So once you've clicked that, in fact, I'll show you what happens when you don't click it. For example, let's say we wanted red on the blade for some strange reason. Uh, if you're trying to colour it like this, obviously it's going to go all over the place. Hopefully you're not quite as bad at colouring as that, but you never know. So when you've got it on lock, you cannot, that's me pressing down, it doesn't go outside the lines, but it colours only within where there is pixels. And that, I mean, it comes in, it's very, very useful to know. Um, so yeah, that's it. Very basic, using the pen tool over here on the left and the lock transparent pixels and I've used that on this piece for example with the hair up here you can probably tell not everybody wants that smooth line in fact I used it for most of the shape of the outline of the body um, because I'm terrible at getting smooth lines just drawing them and I don't think you can get them as smooth as that unless you use the pen tool so hopefully this video helped you in some sort of way uh, it's only really simple but it goes a long way uh, if you did like the video you want to see more tutorials uh, please subscribe to my channel, comment below, share it, let me know what you think. Uh, 
thanks for watching. Uh, also, I'll put a link up to this finished piece, well, once it's finished, uh, on DeviantArt, and I'll put the link in the description. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.